Hey, Jeremiah, Steps Pressure Washing and more. Uh, we're actually heading out to Garner again today. Going to be doing a house wash and gutter cleaning. Uh, we actually haven't really been doing a whole lot of washing lately. We've been doing uh, gutters, gutters, and more gutters. And today we're actually going to be washing a house. So I have the trailer set up, everything ready to rock and roll for house wash. Uh, only reason we're probably doing this house wash is because we're also doing their gutters. They saw our sign, so we need the gutters cleaned. Might as well have you wash while you're out here. Uh, I definitely think that those two services go great together because really, like, if you're going to be maintaining someone's home exterior, you might as well do more than one thing. So uh, I think that they are very complementary of one another. That's why that's like our two main services is we do pressure washing and we do gutter cleaning. Also, Come January, we're going to be still hopefully steady with gutter cleaning and maybe ramping back up on pressure washing by February, March. So it's definitely a good stopgap. It, it helps carry us through the winter. Uh, and that's all I got. Like, let's go get this thing washed. Hang tight. And I have got it all set up. Took me about 15 minutes. Got the hoses pulled. Ladders. Well, ladder set up. And this is definitely ready for a good wash. Uh, this gate here doesn't open, so we're going to be doing everything kind of through one gate. But you can definitely see a lot of green on this north side. A lot of snail marks going around. The front of the house has a good bit of green here underneath this tree. It's going to be a lot of vegetation. We're working around the day, but this is definitely ready for a wash. We're running our standard 1% mix today. Coming along through, a lot of cobwebs here by the front door. Gonna get all that nice and bright and clean. Water hookup right here by the driveway, which is awesome. Right here we're gonna be doing this gutter. Not a lot of gutters here today. The price definitely is going to reflect that. Got a nice little sunroom here. These are glass windows, not easy breeze. So should be no issue using the SH on them today. Right up here is one gutter line that is completely full. Then there is another gutter line right up here that runs the length of the sunroom. And a little bit more green back here on the back side of the house. So there's really not a super clean part of the house. But we give it all the same treatment either way. Whether it's super clean or super dirty, it gets that 1%. That way we can make sure we're killing everything and leaving it perfectly clean. Alright, well I'm going to get up here, run up the ladder, get these gutters cleaned out. And that way we can start washing. All right, so this gutter here, I would say, is really not even super necessary. It's just keeping a lot of water off of the roof here of the sunroom. Uh, and as you can see, it's been a little bit since they did their gutters. So I'm going to see if I can get them set up on a uh, contract or agreement to come out a couple times a year. So we're going to be adding on three of their skylights to the service today. We'll be figuring out how exactly we're going to get up there to them. Then we're just going to be using some clean water out of the hose. Scrub it down and use the squeegee. So I'm gonna get on up there. Just doing a quick wash down with the wet sponge. This is the second wash. Only doing the outsides, but already noticing a huge difference. I'm gonna do a good rinse. Again, we're using no soap on this. Just a little bit of air in the line causing some bubbles. And we're just going to come along and squeegee right dry. Bye. 
of it. So just doing the same thing here, as we're using our extension pole, this is the extender reach. And we're just coming on through, giving it its second rinse, or first rinse actually. I like to wash, rinse, wash, then dry. Just to make sure I'm not missing anything. One more good rinse. And then I put the squeegee here on the extension pole as well, dried this one off, and these are all done, ready to go, clear of film and all the pollen that was stuck to them. So maybe they'll get a little extra light in their kitchen today. All right, and there is completed skylight number three. I've got one more little gutter line, and then I'm going to be ready to wash. All right, we are finally washing. Just waiting on some soap to come on through. And we'll be ready to rock and roll. Got the gutters cleaned out. Got the skylights cleaned. Now we're going to do this quick wash. And head on out. I do not charge a whole lot for skylight cleaning. I do not have very expensive equipment. I don't have a water fed pole. I know that professional window cleaners use different equipment than what I use. I am aware of all of those things, but it is a quick and easy add-on service that I can ride around with a, that sponge window cleaning piece along with the squeegee. I already have the ladder. I already have the extension pole and it is a quick way to add on an additional service while I'm already at someone's property and it is a value to them a value to me and today's job uh, was not a whole lot of money it was not you know a super expensive skylight cleaning but it paid for the equipment that I use for skylight cleaning. And about halfway through the first time I did skylights, my equipment was paid for. And so now it's just labor. There's no cost to it. I use clean water, no detergent, and a little elbow grease. It's just a good way to increase my ticket through the day, and it doesn't take a lot of time or effort. It's not something I advertise. I do have the pricing on my website, so if anybody ever asks, I can show them. And it's a predetermined price. I'm all about those predetermined prices.
All right, so we've worked our way back around to the north side. And we are cleaning up right over here. You can see this is the area that we cleaned, or that I cleaned from the backyard. Now we are just wrapping this up on the front yard. I did have to do two applications on the backyard portion of the north side. So I'm expecting to do two applications here on the front yard portion of the north side, and that is okay. I'd rather go a little underpowered to start than overpowered to start. That cross space door, all those little details that the customers will notice. We make sure we're doing that. We do all the porch railings. We did the back porch steps. Back porch steps are not included, but I threw it in today just because they were very green and. I want to leave it looking good. Trying to get a good saturation on this. It would be preferable to only do it once, but we will see. Hitting this peak without even going to the jet setting of the M5. We set a narrow fan. No issues whatsoever. We have very little wind today. Sure, I have a good saturation, didn't miss any spots. All right, I'm gonna let that dwell. All right, just added a second application to the north side. I'm gonna come on in here. We've got a little bit of yuck still hanging around. Really not doing a whole lot. I'm just really trying to keep it wet. Adding another layer on. Giving it a little bit more time for the SH to do its job. And as you can see, there's still a little bit left, but that's all right. Gonna come back and we're gonna rinse this. Alright, so this is all done now. In front of the house, we did that second time and it pretty much wiped it out uh, instantly after we applied the second round. And here's that north side, nice and bright. Uh, again, this one also was pretty much an instant reaction when we hit it with the second batch. That's going to be it for me today, guys. I'm going to roll it up and uh, head on home. Y'all be safe out there.